my father in the hospital. I was hoping that while I was gone, you could look in on Susie and Joe. But of course, Bonnie, I'd love to help. Meg, sweetie? Yeah, Mom? Bonnie wants you to look after Susie and Joe while she's out of town. Ugh, what? Why me? I don't want to have to do that. I said Rachel Maddow, and she kind of took the baton from there and said Meg Griffin. Who's Rachel Maddow? A model. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Come in. Drop it, creepo. Don't move, Catherine Deneuve. Freeze Reno, Paul Sorvino. What are you doing, Mr. Swanson? I'm trying out some cop entrances. Oh, well, I'm here to help you out while Bonnie's gone. Oh, great. 97, 98, 99, 100. Oh, thanks, Meg. I really appreciate you helping me out these past couple of days. Sorry I bit you yesterday. That's okay. I guess now I know not to get too close to your bowl, right? <laughs> well, yeah. I know you're not trying to hurt me, but part of me doesn't know. So, uh, how are your academics going? Good. Real good. That Puerto Rican street gang give you any trouble on your way home from school? What Puerto Rican street gang? You're welcome. Oh, hang on, there's a red light. Gotta hit the brakes. Hey, can you tell me what Lady Gaga is? Is that a band, or a soda, or a store, or one of those terms like donkey punch? No. Is it a douche? Is Lady Gaga a douche? I don't think so. Is it hard being a paraplegic? Well, it's no picnic. Unless your version of a picnic is being the basket. Well, you seem like you have a good attitude about it. Yeah, you know, it's like we handicapped people say. When life ruins your legs, you just gotta make legonade. I can sort of relate to that. You know, sometimes it's really hard being me. And I guess I just make meganade. That sounds disgusting. All right, we're here. Well, I, I better go. I don't want to be tardy. Oh, that's not going to happen for missing one class. People are born that way. Now run along or you'll be late. Hey, who's that? Your boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's my boyfriend. Meg, you're here early. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to make sure you got a nice hot breakfast before you head off to work. Oh, well, thanks. What's with the getup? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to look sexy for Susie. How are your eggs, Joe? If he doesn't say anything about me calling him Joe, that means we're truly in love. Delicious, Meg. Thanks. You're welcome, Joe. Ah, oh, I should have said something. He let me say it twice now. It's like we're married. This is Patrick Stewart. How are you liking the program so far? Hi, honey. What? What'd you say? I just said hi. Is that, uh, is that Bonnie's dress? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Susie spit up on me and I didn't want to go all the way home, so I just threw this on. I hope that's okay. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Oh, here's that juice box you asked for. Oh, thanks, Meg. Here. Yeah, yeah it's not the same now. I'll, uh, I'll just get another one. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hi, Meg. It's Bonnie. How is everything going there? Oh, great. Has Joe died? What? No. That's good. I was just calling to tell him my father is recovering well and the doctors say he'll be fine. That's great. Who was that? Oh, uh, prank call! Oh, yeah, I uh, get a lot of those. I can never figure out who it is. Ma'am, is this your bag? I don't know how that cocaine got in there. Ma'am, this bag contains a concealed weapon. I'm gonna have to place you under arrest. Oh my goodness, how did that get in there? You're gonna have to come with us, ma'am. This is nice, Joe. A night out, a good dinner. Thank you so much. 
Well, I wanted to do something special. Show you how much I appreciate all the hard work you've been doing. Oh, it's been my pleasure. So, listen, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. What's that? Do you ever think about having another baby? Well, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm just a little scattered tonight. I'm probably just PMSing. Oh, Grody. Hey, this is supposed to be a fun night. What's wrong with you? You know, I could ask the same of you. We haven't made love in two weeks. You haven't made love ever. <coughs> oh, great. <coughs> now you've upset the baby. <coughs> oh, God! Oh! Well, listen, guys, I got something to tell you, and I don't really know how to break it to you, so I'm just going to come right out and say it. Meg has a crush on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, get over yourself! All right, look, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I misread a few of Meg's signals. I'm sorry I bothered you. Excuse me, Lois, I have to go make a phone call. Hey, wheelie, stupid head, I heard you think Meg likes you. Who is this? How are you getting this information? Mm, I can taste him. Okay, I get the smell part, but Meg, I think we have to have a talk. Sweetheart, you don't you don't have a crush on Joe, do you? Um, I don't know. Oh my god, you do have a crush on him. What, Mom? Why shouldn't I like him? When I'm with him, he makes me happy, and he needs me. Think about it, Meg. You two have nothing in common. You know, you're right, Mom. I hear you loud and clear. Meg, what the hell did you do? I made us the same joke. We're exactly alike, you and I. Now we can be together. My God, we have to get you to the hospital. The doctor says you're going to be fine, and your family's on the way. But that was a crazy thing you did, Meg. I know. I'm... I'm so sorry. It just wanted us to be closer. Look, Meg, I do care for you, but I care for you like I, I would a niece or a good friend's daughter. Thanks. Hi, Meg. Bonnie, I'm so sorry I got you arrested. No, it's all right, Meg. Look, I was a teenage girl with a crush at one time myself. I know sometimes it makes you lose touch. Thanks for being so understanding. I hope I didn't get you into too much trouble. I mean, you're not going to go to jail or anything, are you? No, I'll be around. I need these voiceover checks to support my gambling addiction. Ha 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 whoops! <laughs> oh, hey, uh, excuse me, fella. Yeah? What do you want, shrimp? Oh, just a few moments of your time. Hang on. Let me just get this little guy assembled. All right, I think we're all set here. <laughs> wow. Never seen that happen before. What the devil happened here? I've assembled that rifle a million times. Well, I don't know if it's just the rifle. What are you talking about? I think you're going soft. I mean, when was the last time you tried to blow something up or take over the world or, or even use the phrase damn you? Well, I don't care for your tone, and I'd say you deserve a good kick in... <laughs> look, right, look at them. Well, what the hell is going on in here? Well, Brian, I thought about what you said at the park, and I've decided you're right. I have gone soft. I've lost my sadistic streak. So I've built a concentrated neural enhancement device designed to boost my evil side. All right, shall we take this thing for a spin? Now, when I say so, hit that button. Well, how do you feel? I don't know. I don't feel any different. Well, why don't you try insulting me? Yeah, okay, um... Sometimes you chase helicopters. That's kind of lame. You know what? Didn't look at it that way. Thank you for protecting us. Look, your machine obviously didn't work. Well, it just needs a few adjustments, that's all. Come on, help me get some of Peter's tools out of the garage. Oh, jeez, you scared me. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Hey, what are you doing? Hmm. Ah! 
Ryan, have you seen... Whoa, what the hell happened to you? Well, easy, easy, man, easy. What the hell is your problem? What? Oh, my God. Good Lord. I am a genius. Well, kill it. It almost choked me to death. I shall do no such thing, Brian. It must be studied. If I can decode the genetic puzzle of this being, perhaps I can determine how to apply it to my own neurological makeup. Evil Stewie, come with me. We're going to run a few tests on... <coughs> ah! <laughs> Ridiculous. Evil Stewie could be anywhere. You know, this really is all your fault. If you hadn't told me I was going soft, I wouldn't have created Evil Stewie, he wouldn't have escaped, and we wouldn't be trying to track down a murderer. For all we know, he could be killing someone else right now. Evil Stewie? Wherever you are, if you can hear me, I'm completely defenseless right now. Okay, there you are. Well, this is a gift, Brian. Thank you for making it so easy. Come on, not this thing, really? Brian, it's me, Stewie. Shoot him! No, Brian, you know me. Look at me. Shoot him! All right, there's only one way to settle this. Look at your feet. Why? They're just feet. <laughs> what are they doing down there? They're like leg hands! Stewie. Yeah, me too. Hey, come on, I'll take you home.